Hi, and welcome to the channel from Living Well Services at St Wilfrid's Hospice in Chichester. You may have already listened in to our podcasts, but if not, you will find more detailed information contained within our podcast episodes. With these videos, we aim to provide you with key tools and techniques to help you breathe a little easier, and to give you a visual demonstration of what we talk about in the podcasts. There are a number of things you can do to make life easier when living with breathlessness. Sometimes changing how you go about your day or a particular task can make it more manageable. This can be a difficult thing to embark on and see through though, as it may mean reframing how you think about things and potentially changing habits of a lifetime. It also means accepting that things have changed, that certain things are now difficult to do and that is also very difficult psychologically and emotionally. Feeling upset, low in mood, frustrated or even angry are very normal feelings to experience. It is okay to acknowledge these feelings and sometimes it can help to talk them through with someone or to write them down in a journal. Living with a long-term condition can have a significant impact on your quality of life and on what you are able to do. A lot of psychological adjustment can be required in order to come to terms with things or to learn to live with them. Anxiety too can be exhausting and all of this can bring with it difficult emotions. It is important to allow yourself to acknowledge this and to give yourself time and permission to sit with these emotions and process them. If you have been struggling in this way, you are certainly not alone. There are practical things you can do to make living with breathlessness easier. One thing which can make everyday tasks more manageable is to introduce specific pieces of equipment which may just alleviate some of the strain or enable you to avoid certain movements which can trigger episodes of breathlessness. Handy devices can reduce the energy required to do a particular task and sometimes Cleverly designed aids can have other features which can be really useful. Examples of such equipment include a long-handled sponge to make washing your back, legs and feet easier, a grabber for picking things up off the floor so you don't need to bend down so far, and a toweling dressing gown to reduce the need for vigorous drying and rubbing. Accepting the need for such equipment can take a lot for some people to get their heads around or to feel okay with. For some people, it can feel like giving in to start using something like a walking aid. But if you can, try to think of it as something which enables you to do more, rather than a sign of having given in. In general life, we often use devices and gadgets to make things easier, and we don't think much of it cars rather than bikes, calculators rather than just using our brains, kettles rather than collecting sticks for a fire and boiling a pot of water over it, dishwashers, washing machines, to name but a few. These devices we accept as normal, and this is just about trying out some other new pieces of equipment to help make everyday life that little bit easier. Using equipment to enable you to maintain your independence with everyday tasks or your ability to walk can actually be an empowering thing. You may feel self-conscious being seen using something like a walker, but the likelihood is that nobody else really takes much notice or passes judgment. It is understandable though that it may feel difficult to present yourself differently in public and for some people this feels really hard. Again, finding someone to talk this through with can be helpful and sometimes with a bit of shopping around, you may find a particular design which you feel more comfortable with. We hope you have found this video interesting, helpful and reassuring. If you would like to find out further information and access resources, including printable written resources, please visit the St Wilfrid's Hospice website at stwh.co.uk. Thank you for watching.